In autotrophic eukaryotes, photosynthesis occurs in an organelle called the chloroplast. The chloroplast structure looks like this. First of all, it's, it's got a dual membrane and the outer membrane is just simply called the outer membrane. And then there's an inner membrane. Also is just called the inner membrane. Okay, now inside that, that's a liquid watery environment and that liquid is called, or the watery environment there is called the stroma, S-T-R-O-M-A. Now that's important because parts of the photosynthesis reactions actually occur in that liquid called the stroma. As well as that, we have these stacks look like this, all through the chloroplast. An individual stack is called a granum and collectin, so that's the singular, and the plural is called grana. And each individual uh, disc here is called a thylakoid. And this membrane, the thylakoid membrane, is another very, very important environment for uh, photosynthesis to occur. So the first part of photosynthesis uh, occurs in the grana, um, specifically on the thylakoid space or the thylakoid membrane. And then the second half of photosynthesis occurs in the stroma. Now, um, the reason why we've got these vertical stacks like this is to increase surface area because it's along these thylakoids that we have our chloroplast, our, our chlorophyll and our other pigments. So it increases the surface area to be able to capture more light. So we find our chloroplasts are mostly concentrated in our palisade uh, mesophyll and in these chloroplasts we've got a large amount of chlorophyll and our other pigments to capture the light energy. There is also communication between uh, each of these um, granum as well. And there's a whole series of these in the um, chloroplast.